Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm uh, joined uh, by the usual crew tonight, uh, Christian, Anna, and I'm Lucas. What's up? Hello. Why don't you include yourself this time, Lucas? Yeah, yeah, I figured I probably. Do. Yeah, I know. I've yeah, been trying to be also, better about that. You um, also seem to be trying to carefully control your tone of voice. <laughs> it's very sultry this evening. There, there you Intimate go. Intimate evening with Lucas. Yeah, I'm sure Not I'll probably sure get louder as, it, as things go on. Um, I'm not sure I would have used that word to describe it, but I mm. appreciate your um, mastery of the English language, Christian. There you go. That's what you keep so. me around for. That's yeah. right. That's right. You're the resident linguist. Well, and, and hopefully my voice matches how tired I am right now because I just got back from, we, we did a like three day uh, scout trip to uh, to Nash. So being out in the sun and, you know, it, it was it was very fun. We got to wear masks for three straight days of hiking and doing all kinds of activities and all that uh, jazz. So, but, uh, but it was good. It was actually good to actually get out and do something that seems semi-normal so but uh but anyway so tonight uh we are doing uh earthrise uh the uh seeker pack so y yay more repaints yep that's right more repaints what a surprise huh i'm actually really excited for these repaints because they're awesome yeah, I know they are. No, this is a this is a mold that I I did play with Lucas's when it first came out, and there was a little bit of like, man, I'm sad that I can't rationalize buying this because it's pretty cool. I'd like to own it. I'd like to play with it. But I did buy the Siege Star Scream, and eventually I was like, I have other Star Screams, and I had to sell them. So I thought I'm gonna hold back this time and wait to see if there's any repaints I want. And then these two came. They did. So let's talk about them. I got mine in vehicle mode. You guys got yours in vehicle mode? I no, have the mine other is one in vehicle mode, so uh, it's perfect. There, perfect. there you go. My, mine are both in robot mode. We so. totally planned that, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we did. Now, so you could have... Okay, I'm, I'm going for professor mode. I need to stop. You could have implicitly planned it because you saw the photo I put up earlier had him in jet mode without full conscious awareness you could have prepared yeah, maybe to do so okay i'm done they're airplanes this is, this is still a good jet mode we've talked about this before so i think we can kind of zoom through this a little bit quickly but it's still a good jet mode it has you know under jet bot kibble like anybody else does but this does it really well <clears throat> yeah the colors are nice the stripes are really good I, I love them. Still. No, I, I think, agree with that. I think the stripes are really nice, especially on Thundercracker. Yeah, I mean, I think for oh. a mainline jet or whatever, it's it's really good. I mean, I think really the the only the main complaint that that I would have is is that it doesn't have the landing gear in the front, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, so like that's probably like my only real complaint. I do actually like the feet. Like I'm sure there's probably someone somewhere that's complaining that the that they don't have the like le uh, real looking thrusters in the back. But like I actually like that because it makes the feet more stable and, and, and better. So uh. yeah. here's what he's talking about here: the the feet thrusters in the back. Yeah, I never noticed it until it was just yeah. mentioned. I mean, I think it looks. I, I think it makes for a better figure overall. So I'm glad that they I went so that too. way. So, so uh, if anyone else out there is like me, you've been holding on to your classic seekers all this time because that's the only G1 mold we've gotten besides masterpiece stuff. So here is classic Skywarp next to Earthrise Skywarp, and you know. I'm really attached to these classics ones. You guys have seen my butterfly wall display. I've posted up in the Discord once or twice. If you need to see it again, we can do that again. But I was hesitant to get these, the Earthrise ones, because I have the classic ones. And I think they can both coexist 
I mean, there it's it's like the Earth Rise is a spiritual successor to classics, and they're both fantastic. So pick your poison, or get both of them, like me, and just be all the poisoned. I I would agree with that in jet mode. I would agree with that in jet mode. I think the jet mode is about equivalent between the classics and the new one, and it's fine. Like it's really good. It's you know honestly like. I don't need a better jet mode than this. Like, I, you could argue that MP3 and MP11 having nicer jet mode than this after you go through the trouble of transforming it and all that good stuff. You could argue that that jet mode does look better. And I think it would be a valid argument, but I'm not like a, a model jet enthusiast or anything. This is fine. This is all I need. This looks close to the animation and it's good for me. I agree with that too. Like you said, the, the other the MP jets may be better, but are they, you know, per price point, you know, better? The answer to me would be no. They're definitely fantastic jet jet modes, jet molding, whatever. They, they look great as jets, but these look really good as jets and are, you know, a fraction of the price. So, so one thing cheaper. just to just to take a step back is you know we probably should have done this introducing the figures in general. So these seekers are a Target exclusive two pack. Uh, sure. I believe the price on it is sixty dollars. Is that right? Sixty. Yep. Sixty dollars. Um. So, Voyager. But it seems like it's just been kind of a somewhat of a frustrating experience and honestly maybe a little more frustrating than usual uh the way that these things have trickled out because i mean it's really like they they haven't really been online like they will have a, a tiny little sliver of exclusives online and you'll get a, a, an alert from the app at like 5 a.m or whatever that you know like what christian did you're able to to secure yours like online um and so and again it was like one of those things where it's just kind of a trickle you have to really watch the app to see when they show up in your area like they haven't all shown up at once and i know like in my area they showed up for like a day and then they were gone and like literally like i don't know if someone went and bought them all up or if it was just that we have that many Transformers fans locally that, you know, everyone was watching and, and you know, with bated breath uh, to do it. But, like, it was one of those things where, I mean, these things have just, like, are just really hard to come by. And I feel like it's been worse than some of the other exclusives. But, I don't know, I guess the clones uh, have been kind of a similar thing where... Um, you know, those have come out and it seems like it's, you know, they're kind of hit or miss, which is, it's really frustrating that if you're trying to get these into your collection and you miss the boat, then like you have to pay scalper price for this, which is like over a hundred dollars, which is like not, I mean, like by the time you do that, you might as well buy the masterpiece, right? Yeah, I mostly agree with that. I think that part of the reason Part of it probably has to do with the fact that regularly or normally, quite often, exclusives are obscure characters that just, you know, weirdos like us care about them. We want to get the obscure characters. We're like, oh, Rainmakers, those haven't got a toys. Let's buy those. But this time around, it's like, it's Skywarp and Thundercracker. Like, if you want a set of G1 characters that are iconic, you want the three Seekers. Like, if you're wanting to make a display... That's all the main gain from the original series. You need these two. So that's probably making, you know, this a little more of a battle. So I would say event. one thing is, is that after the Skywarp masterpiece debacle of in Walmart in whatever year that was, what, 2006, seven, eight, nine, somewhere, whatever, like 2000s where they were clearancing the masterpiece figures for like 30 bucks a pop or whatever um like skywarp has actually been an exclusive i think like all the main lines like i remember the classic skywarp was it not okay am i am i correct because classics is yeah that was classics yeah, was an exclusive well. 
Is it and so pack? you had to get that in an Ultra Magnus pa- like two pack, and that was a Target exclusive as well. Why wouldn't you want to? They were both great. No, they absolutely great. right. So uh, and then the um, the Siege Sky Warp was an Amazon exclusive, and then this is a Target exclusive. So what what Sky Warp has not been? An the exclusive? two in Combiner Wars. Oh, you're right. I didn't think about that. So, yeah, it may have been something, too. I wonder how... I can't remember. Did, was the Skywarp heavily clearance from Combiner Wars? Uh, it, yeah, a little bit. Not heavily, but, okay. yeah. It was the tail end, and no one wanted to order it. I don't know about the Legends. I didn't pay attention to those, but the leader one, yeah. But, like, again, it's one of those things where, okay, that Combiner Wars mold, like, that was, like, the fourth version of that mold. It was a $50 figure. Oh, so... I mean, like, that's the thing that's stupid is, is, like, well, I, I could see where there's people that want to spend 20 or $30 on a Sky Warp, but don't want to spend, you know, $50 on a Sky Warp, so. I, I think they were still 45 then, but that's really just splitting hairs. What, whatever. Like, whatever it the, is, the price is. was on the stuff. I mean, personally, I'm all in. Like, you're, I think Sky Warp right. is a great looking <laughs> character and a, in a great character, but, like, it's. I, I don't know. For whatever reason, they they want to throw this thing into an exclusive, which is like really frustrating. Again, like you said, Anna, that like most people want to complete the trio. So it's like, yeah, why? Like, I don't know. I, I, I realize especially Voyager spots are, you know, somewhat hard to come by. Like there's not a lot of them. So I could see, That's and true. they probably don't want to have every plane and whatever. And, I mean, I guess, like, I know the thunder, the Siege Thundercracker, it seems like that has kind of shelf-warmed, so uh, maybe that's part of it. Starscream here, too. Yeah, I mean, we saw what happened with that, right? Because Starscream and Thundercracker were not exclusives They both kind of shelf-warmed. Skywarp was an exclusive and became this, like, golden nugget in a robot body. That was so worth dumb. So he was much available more than he really is for worth. retail for so many months. I know. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what happened on that. Like, why, like, once it dried up, like, I, I think we're, I don't know if those people were just waiting for a sale or what. They were uh, snoozing. Exactly on that. And again, like, that was a, I know that was a little more expensive, too, because uh, it came with uh, the uh, Target Master yeah, game, so. It was a $50 pack? That was a reasonable price for that yeah. pack, though. Was it fifty? Was sixty? Why did it sixty? Well, it came with three was, target masters. That should was be forty-five. Three I think masters? it was fifty. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. It was three target masters. I think it was fifty. Yeah. No, that's right. Okay. The, okay. The other pack was forty because it was two deluxes and a or forty-five. I don't know. They, there were two packs. They were. About fifty bucks. Wait, piece. I think they were both fifty. Were they both I think 50? I remember that because it was a hundred to buy both of them together. Yeah. But I think Maybe, again, I think the, uh, like the nevertheless, like the secondary market. I mean, I'm sure with this new set that's coming out, that the secondary market for Siege Sky Warp is has dropped a little bit, uh, but it's still more expensive. Like, I mean, honestly, it's per, like if you can find this at retail. It's you know you could probably get this cheaper than a Siege Sky Warp, but if you oh, don't definitely. get lucky, I found two sets at retail on Saturday. I bought one for Surge because his area was cleaned out, and I left one. I had to go back to the same Target the next day because my dad needed groceries, and it, the one set that I left over was still there. So it's possible you could get lucky. Yeah. They're out there. You gotta you gotta hunt for them, or you gotta be like me and wake up at four a.m. and wait for the restock, which I totally did, and it worked. Yeah, yeah but you it's were, still. You were it. I don't know. Like that. That's one thing. Like with Red Wing, where it seemed like it was it was easy for me to go on as a target card holder, uh, or as a red card holder, and I was able to go on and and just you know get Red Wing. So it's like why right. Like, I, I wish that they would have done this online with these guys. And, like, who knows? They may end up doing that. Like, it may be something to where that they're still getting some more stock. And, I mean, it's it's really hard to say with some of these exclusives, like, how many they're actually going to make. So. 
We had talked incessantly, though, about the whole mixture between, you know, what's going to be a sold-out exclusive and what isn't. You know, that gigawatt sold out in 30 seconds, and then people started complaining about the new um, Maverick, the Top Gun one. So, it's like, it's really up in the air over what's going to do really well as an exclusive. Yeah. These guys seem to be doing well now, but there could be saturation in two months. We really don't know. I mean, honestly, though, I think... with Rainmakers, so, you know, we'll see. It most, does the same thing. I was going to say, most of these exclusives, though, like, I mean, the market is always really good on them. Um, I mean, I think even the Rainmakers are over retail with, like, I mean, some of those got clearance from Target, but, I mean, online, I mean, if you, if, like, if you're late to the party and you want to set Rainmakers, I haven't checked the current eBay price, but I think... I'm pretty sure, like, it's still up there. I mean, it kind of ebbs and flows a little bit just depending on, you know, the supply and, and what's out there and whatnot. But, um, but yeah, so um, I guess, like, moving on to uh, robot mode for these. Um, I mean, yeah. the thing that I really love about these is just the, that silver paint that's on them. I mean, it looks so nice um, on the chest. And so... You have good silver paint. I think that, like, I mean, it's really just a stark, like, contrast. If you're um, comparing it to, like, say, Siege Skywarp, I mean... Like, this, it's just such a nicer... I don't know. Like, I just think it looks a lot nicer, you know? I would also like to note that the blue on Thundercracker is really fantastic. I think this is the first Hasbro Thundercracker that has the animation color scheme because the classics one looks like this, which is the toy color scheme, that very dark blue and the masterpiece that Hasbro released followed that as well. So to have this lighter blue that is the show, I think that's really great. Yeah, and that's good. I like it good. Both. It's good to have for flavor. Yeah, I mean, I think the... Um... Like compared to the sea, I think it, the blue color is actually pretty similar. Oh, to is the, the siege one a little bit lighter too? Okay, well, it's I am incorrect. Which is fine. It's similar. It's pretty similar. Good. So, well, for a long time they were sticking to toy colors, Thundercracker, and now they seem to do show colors, Thundercracker, which is great. Right. I think this is a, a sharper looking blue, but again, I mean, I think that the silver color compared to the gray color on Siege yeah. um, is really nice. Yep. So, when I saw and that it doesn't have space in the first promo images, that, that's how I knew I had to get rid of my Siege set. These are just right. nicer. They're just nicer. They're just nicer. I agree. Yeah. Like, I mean, they've lost their waist articulation, but that's like. That's all I can really complain about, right? Yeah, and it's a valid complaint. And you wrist articulation to too. It. They lost that, right? The uh, the siege mold have rest. I don't have a siege uh, mold. I don't think this. Oh. oh, you're right. Yeah, they did. Okay. So they had wrist articulation as well. So okay. it lost. That, I mean, it lost that. But I know my articulation. Don't worry. But again, like the um, the head articulation on this mold is a lot better. Like, yeah, it is. And and the ankle uh, ankle articulation is better, so and it looks more like a jet. Sculpt's also better. Like both of them, the the new Skywarp head sculpts and the original plain face head sculpts. I think they both look better than the Siege one did. I'm not super enthused about Skywarp perpetually yelling, but it's not what? it's not egregious or anything. Oh, like if I had a preference, it would be that he didn't, but I don't mind that he. Has that head sculpt, face sculpt. Well, hey, you can just go uh, search out all the variant uh, for the head sculpts, right? No. <laughs> Should have been a plain one. I love it when they take a chance on more animated facial expressions. Like I am just so tired of every toy on my shelf having that same straight face. It is so nice when they do something like this. Like. If I had my choice, which one gets the sillier face would be Starscream, of course. You know, there's a lot of times he's making that face, usually in pain. But at the same time, you know, if I can have a more animated face, I'll take it. I 
any day. But anyway, as far as like this figure goes, you know, back when we did Starscream, I didn't have one. I had played with Lucas's, so I didn't get to say a whole lot about it because I kind of like, there was a little bit of jealousy. I was like, ooh, he has that mold. I don't have it. I kind of want it, but I can't justify it. Now I have it, and I can say, you know, this is a decent mold to play with. The Siege is definitely a more playable toy because it has just a little bit more articulation. But this one is still good. You know, it's a bit on the blocky side, but it's blocky in a kind of accurate, decent enough way. It still has, you know, modern articulation, aside from the missing wrists and the missing waist rotation. But I think it, it comes out to be pretty good. Like, I can get some fun poses with these guys, especially Skywarp, because he has a good face for posing. The, the other nice thing compared to the Masterpiece is when you pick it up, the chest doesn't automatically, like, slide up. <laughs> that is nice. So so that that's kind of nice that you can actually mess with your figure and you don't have to worry about that. Or depending on which mold you have, that it falls over because the feet are, you know, wonky with... Like, that's one thing that's nice about these is they really have, you know, the solid planted feet. You can get some, like, you know, pretty yeah. good poses out of it and you don't have to worry about... I don't know. Like, I feel like all these other... Uh, you know, characters or whatever, like, or uh, figures of these characters, like, have just, it's hard to pose them, like, without them falling over, so. Do you want to yeah, take I agree. a note here with the flexible wings? Because uh, the Classics mold doesn't have this. The Masterpiece do, kind of, but it messes with how they tab in. You can angle these wings backwards on a hinge, it just kind of breaks in uh, half of the wing. You can't see it in jet mode too well because it's up next to the fuselage, but you can flex the wings back so they're not just directly against the kind of more dynamic way of posing. Gives them depth. I like that feature. Yeah, um, so in, in the chat, I know they're, they're asking if we would sacrifice a little bit of accuracy for more shelf st stability, and I absolutely would. I mean, I think especially on mainline, like, yeah, I want it cool. to be a playable toy. I want it to be a toy that is not constantly falling over, that you're finicking yeah. with and, and whatever. And, and so, like, that's one of my biggest nitpicks of the um, new Masterpiece figures that they have between Hound and Bumblebee and um, is that it, they are just not really fun figures to play with. Um, whereas, you know, the, these are, so I, I personally am willing to sacrifice a little bit of that for a more fun figure, but your mail mileage may vary. If accuracy makes it fall down, it's time to upgrade the feet. It's time to update. It. It's time to make them new, better feet. I don't, I don't see any reason to have a toy design that's just, you know, oh, it's accurate, but it's kind of crappy. Meh. I like updates. So, you know, you know I'm that person. Yep. I agree. Updates all the way. That's why I like the older masterpieces more. Yep. Uh, the older masterpieces are just a lot more fun to play with, with the exception of these guys. I just, I do not think that either version of the Masterpiece chat was a win. I think that both of those were a major mess. I actually think, so, I thought the Toys R Us version of the Starscream, that, I can't remember what year that came out, um, was actually pretty good because they finally fixed the chest on it so it didn't just like slide up and down. And uh, it was a reasonable price and whatnot. And so um, I, I actually like that one. But, yeah, like, in general, like, I mean, those those Jets definitely, like, were showing their age, like, compared to other Masterpiece. Like, there's other ones, especially, like, Soundwave and whatnot, where it's, like, you still put that on your shelf and you're, like, okay, well, this is, you know, I, I don't know how much they can do to, to update this because this is a really nice figure. Whereas, you know, yeah, there's definitely a lot of issues and they probably when they you know did mp11 they probably should have done more to to remold it than like you know i i feel like it was almost too close to mp3 yep, that's probably true if i didn't have an emotional attachment and that it was a gift to masterpiece thundercracker which is mp11 
I would happily replace both my MP11 Thundercracker and my MP3 Skywarp with these guys. Like, definitely, I would yeah. ditch both of them in a heartbeat because these guys are just, they're better toys and they don't, the jets don't look that much worse and the bot modes actually look better because the chest is right. It really makes that big of a difference to me, at least personally, that the chest is, it sets normal on these guys. So, Anna, just out of curiosity, if you, between these and New Age, like, which one do you think is better? Huh. Good question. Which one do I think is the better toy is New Age? Which one do I think that I enjoy owning more is these? Really? And why do you enjoy yeah, owning these more? Because you can't display the New Age for most angles. New Age, as soon as you start moving the mold around, it starts to break up. And that doesn't look good to me when the mold starts to break up. Like, they're very good for stoic, static poses. These guys, because they're just more toy-like, they can't hit all the dynamic poses that New Age can. But any dynamic pose they can hit, as long as you're not showing too much of the side, because, you know, there's the wonderful atrocious hole yeah. in the side. But as long as you're not showing that, they can take any pose without breaking up the mold. And that's that's what I like in a toy. Interesting. That's yeah, why I, mean, I prefer Magic Square so often. It's because the the mold doesn't break when you pose it. Whereas with New Age, it does. Most people don't mind, but I'm very picky about that. Yeah, I mean, I think overall, like, I would say that these are probably... If, if you're a Chug collector or, you know, whatever, mainline collector, I mean, I think that this these are the definitive version... I think finally, like, I think that the old classics are, are fantastic, but I think that they're a little too small. Um, you know, this definitely has some updates and whatnot from that. So if you, if you like those molds, like this is, this is it. So, I mean, I think that these are, I don't know. I'm, I, I can't say that this is the last Seekers I'm ever going to buy because I'm sure that if Hasbro goes and releases something a few years from now, I'll probably, you know, with like, that's a little bit better. I'll probably like that too. But like for me right now, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy with these and you know, I, I'm also extremely happy that they're, uh, we're getting cone heads from these as well. I am going to cool. go that extra mile and say, these are probably the last seekers I'll buy. Ooh, bold, brave. I'm, but, I'm looking um, for that in state of my collection when I collect mainline stuff. These are the best mainline seekers that I think they could make. Yeah, and I know uh, Jeff in the chat was asking whether or not we think the masterpieces are a big enough improvement on Earthrise to warrant a purchase. And I mean, absolutely not. No. Like, for me, I. Um, now, I have not actually messed with the MP44, the Optimus Prime. Um, in hand to, to see what that's like. Um, it's it's good. It's really good. Um, it's the paint is fantastic. It looks like he walked out of the show, which, in a lot of times for me, is a detriment. Uh, it's definitely not seven times Earthrise Optimus Prime's value. Yeah. <laughs> I mean the seven thing that eight times. I, I just I just feel like again and I mean this like comes through on so many of these figures that I can really see where the Hasbro designers or Takara whoever actually designed these Earthrise figures that they took the masterpiece cars or the masterpiece figures that been uh, have have come out and they said how can we simplify it's almost like how can we knock these off essentially but. Oh yeah, the, these seekers they have the MP arm transformation. Yeah, it is exactly the MP arm transformation. But again, like I feel like that with Wheeljack. I feel like that with like oh, yeah. Sideswipe. I mean, there's so many of and those. I think that's really good. It, I mean, it shows yeah. that they're taking the lessons learned and, and moving them into later figures and improving even more. You laughing at me? Oh, no, no. Catherine, see, you, you yeah. don't see the chat, but Catherine asked a great question. Are you sure that you wouldn't like a full team of Seekers out of the Top Gun mold? I'll take it. No. No, I don't actually want... I want the, the correct... I want the Cyberjets out of that mold. 
The cyber bad. jets would be cool. I would actually like if they could take that mold and and uh, throw a couple exclusives of that in some wild G two colors. Sign me up. I am Don't definitely not okay with if they were all fifty dollars. They need to be thirty uh, or less. But it's a big thing. It's a you know it's a leader class. No, it's not. It is it's though. It's a Voyager. Leader class. Its vehicle mode uh, is bigger than any Voyager that's come out in the past several years. Are there size comparisons? How do you know that? I feel like I don't know that. I saw it in the original leak things next to other things. Mmm, secret documents. I see. Not secret. It was released to the public. <laughs> well, I haven't seen those secret saying, documents. Maybe. I heard that he's seven inches tall, which is about as tall as these guys. So I think he's a Voyager. Yeah, but his wingspan is about two times these at least, maybe three. And it's articulated swept wing stuff. I mean, it's big. Yeah, I mean, I definitely, if they remolded like, that, I would not want to pay $50 for it. So It's it's licensed, so right. unless Northrop Grumman decides that they like Skyjack's deco, I don't think we're going to get any rebanks. Yeah, so, um, I don't know. Like, so, uh, of the new exclusives that come out between the Top Gun mold and the Back to the Future one, which one, like, do you think looks cooler? I'm going to go with Back to the Future. I'm going to go with Maverick. I like them both, but which one looks cooler is Maverick. Yeah. I still think the Ghostbusters one is the coolest looking one, especially with the the packaging. What's that? Absolutely. Ectotron wins. If, if he gets to be in this fight, Ectotron wins. Yeah. So, but back to these Seekers. Um, so, yeah, like, yeah. I, I think that I would definitely try and track these down if you can. Um, I think that, I think we're all in agreement. Uh, I'm the only one, I think, that even still has the Siege Molds uh, left. Um, I mean, as far as, like, the Skywarp and Thundercracker, right? Like, do either one of you guys have those still? Nope. nope, I have it in Sausage Boy, and that's it. So, so yeah, I'm 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 the only one that's even hung on to uh, those figures at all. So that tells you how much you guys like that mold. So I kept the Rainmakers and Red Wing and Hot Link. Yeah, Eric in the chat yeah, I this um, too. Uh, actually uh, shared a uh, uh, the leaked images and the size or whatever for you, Anna. So if you want to go reference that, cool. I'll check that out later and figure out what I think more so I just I think similar to um, another comment in the chat I think that um, I really just can't justify a figure with that much hollowness you know how I'm the hollowness for $50 even if it is later size I don't think I can do it yeah it just doesn't look like $50 to me and I have no attachments to top gun Maybe Not. I just have like, you know, ruby glasses, rose color glasses, where you guys don't. I didn't see any hollowness in those images. Oh I just my mean, it's not god! There. The like underside yeah. of his arms are just like holes. Okay. Just like the you know, abyss. This is this is my caring very much face. <laughs> good, good. I'm glad. But I but care. I will say, it's, if it's you're gonna compare these, way. this two pack. That's well painted, looks really neat. Of original characters for sixty dollars compared to one fifty dollar Maverick, I, I would probably pick these. Yes, it is a smarter choose. choice to spend ten more dollars and get these two than to spend ten less and get Maverick. Yeah, if you if you wanted to compare them, they're completely different things to me. They are completely they, different. They are completely things different true. things. I'll give you that. But what if you only have sixty dollars? I mean, I would get these two. Don't buy Transformers if you only have sixty dollars. Right, I was gonna say if Don't you only have sixty dollars. That's, that's all a, I can think of. I was like, question. but I was like, I advise young people of things to do with their lives for a living. I definitely shouldn't be endorsing that you should spend your last sixty dollars on toy robots. <laughs> that was a trick question. That wasn't fair. It was. It was. But I tricked myself. I guess that makes it a little bit better. Uh, I mean, your mileage may vary, as Lucas would say. 
Well, do we have anything else that we need to cover on these guys before we wrap up tonight? These are good toys. I'm sad I missed them the first time. My other Skywarp doesn't have any thumbs, so therefore I'm going to keep this one. That's my final yeah. thoughts. Bring on some more repaints and cone heads and everything. I'll buy them all again. Yeah. I, I will buy whatever Seekers you want to put out of these. I think that it's a, it's a really nice mold. I enjoy it. So, but we know we're at least getting cone heads. We don't know if we're getting more, so... I will not buy more versions of this mold. I like these two, but those two will buy them, so you're good. That's but what if it, what if there's some kind of weirdo version of it, like with weird colors? Okay. So what's that one G two thingy that's like utterly rainbow color? I would buy that one. Action Master Thundercracker. Yeah, that's it. That's right. Okay. I buy that version, go. the Action Master one. There you go. That's pretty. It's so pretty. Or if they remolded it as a different Jet character, which will never happen with the Seeker mold, because you can just straight repaint it so many times. But if that happened, I'd get it as, again as well. But, Did you like, slipstream? You know I would buy a slipstream. I would buy a slipstream retooled out of the Classics mold. I yeah. would buy a slipstream retooled out of Maverick. <laughs> what, what about a Nacelle? Her? Nacelle? Of course I would buy Nacelle. There you go. Maybe. Defense Wish Mold. Sunstorm. I would want them to finish out Nacelle's team, though. Because there's two unnamed characters that go with him. Sunstorm now. I really talked myself into wanting the um, the New Age figure as Sunstorm. I, I think Sunstorm good. that's like a more orangish version, so we have that, yeah. you know, so, uh, so that way it's a little bit different. Paint your own Seeker set. That'd be fun. That would be fun. I can't see it like selling well, but it'll be fun. Right. Oh, it sells terribly. Right. right. I, I've come to realize that the most of the stuff that we want is probably not going to sell well. So it's like, why Gee, do they keep releasing more makes. optimuses and bumblebees? Oh, wait, it's because they sell well. <sighs> Absolutely. I would buy... Okay, if there was a glow-in-the-dark acid storm, oh, I'd go 100%. for that. Cause, we'll just use the MP the color dark. scheme. Even just use the MP color scheme. That that color scheme is probably one of the best. It's actually, really cool. My favorite from Hasbro. I'll always regret turning down that figure when it was given to me as a gift. I was a monster. <sighs> All right. Well, um, so yeah. So the the um, we had a, a pre-recorded TFLP last night. So if you want to check that out, um, and I don't think there was a TF Talk news uh, this week, mm -hmm. and uh, mainly part of that's just because I've been off, so I've been able to upload stuff and whatnot. So we had to kind of do some pre-record stuff and whatnot. So. Um, but hopefully we should have a new cut the tape later this week though. Um, and the podcast stream should be out. I, I think I uploaded the TFLP tonight. So, uh, for anyone looking for that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I think that's all we got. So these Join are good. We recommend more toys. There you go. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to switch back to some of Anna's knockoff garbage. I could talk about this purple pile. It's very purple. It's a lot of purple. It flows naturally from half purple to all purple. It's amazing the different colors are purple there, so. Yeah, and then the next figure afterwards has to be gray. We'll just do it by color. <laughs> there, there you go. So. It's our new theme. <laughs> I don't know. It'd be interesting to see when they actually more of this new Siege stuff starts dropping. Like, I mean, we've seen review or not Siege Earthrise. I'm sorry. Um, we've uh, you know we've already seen a bunch of leaks and you know some reviews and whatnot on on some of it. But uh, you know, I don't know when it's actually gonna drop. Like, I know that I think some targets have seen. Um, I'm trying to think, hasn't there been some? Some new wave stuff from and targets. Double dealer so far. Yeah, but 
I th- for some reason, I thought that they had some other stuff too, but maybe it was just Double Dealer. Uh, I think some people have posted pictures of finding Slither Fane. Yes, there we go. That's what I was thinking. Which I really want because it's a snake. It looks it fun. like snakes. So, oh, and Dead Prime is going to be out soon. Yeah, yeah, like, so. it's supposed to be out this week, right? Yep. Yep, so there, there we go. Oh, we could talk about that next week. Ooh, Here another repaint. Out. Yay. No, I kind of want to check out um, if you got uh, your tape guy. I do. I do have my sound wave. Sound my, wave. Like my that's... new age. Yeah, your new age. I have it open. Or, no, not no, new age, magic, magic square. square. Whatever, whoever made it. Yeah, I kind of I want to see that. Like maybe we should do that next week. So I don't know. We'll see. I want to see it. Tune in. It'll be it. something. So we'll talk about it. Actually, <laughs> it will be sure. something. So well, all right. Well, thank you, everyone. Thank you to everyone in the chat. Randall, Catherine, uh, Jay, Jeffrey, uh, Eric. So appreciate everyone uh, put, putting their comments in and thoughts and whatnot. So, yeah, thank you so much. Interaction is great. Right. I guess there's more crap to talk about. It does. Yep. All right. Well, thank you guys, and we will see you next week. Goodbye.